Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my floor. I just broke a nail. Can you see my pinky nail? <laughs> Carrying this box in, it is very heavy. Today I wanted to share a J. Crew haul with you. I mentioned in my last video that I'm trying to revamp my wardrobe and get some more classic basics that I can build off of. And I would say that my style is definitely more classic. I don't really buy a lot of trends, but I do need to update some of the silhouettes in my wardrobe, in my current wardrobe. I would say between 2020 and 2022, I didn't really do a lot of shopping. I wouldn't say it was no buy, but it was a very, very minimum buying um, of any sort of clothes, adding anything new to my wardrobe. So I just want to revamp, refresh everything. And I wanted to do some shopping at J. Crew because I'm five feet tall. So I have to shop in petite sizes specifically for more tailored pieces like blazers and trousers. So I wanted to start first with J. Crew because I typically have good luck there i would say shopping um i know my sizing and they typically have a nice quality um depending or or for the price point so it's not super super high end um but they're still very nice quality pieces that i know will last me years and years in fact i have a linen blazer in my closet now that i have had Gosh, I wore it to an event in 2016. So I know that it was before that that I bought it. And so they really last if you take care of them, if you get them dry cleaned, if that's what's required. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you into the mirror like I normally do and try to style each piece and see how it fits and kind of go over that. Um, I do try to give some tips if you are petite like me, um, because some fit tips because it's, it's always hit or miss, you know? Sometimes, <laughs> I don't know if you hear that, but there is some very loud drilling coming from someplace. I think that's just gonna be too distracting for me to even try and talk over. I'll be back. Okay, so what I decided to do is film this right here because I feel like the lighting's better so you get a better idea of what each piece looks like. So this is the Garcon Classic Fit White Button Up. And what I wanted was something that was a bit oversized. So I went up one size in this because I wanted something that I could wear with denim shorts, kind of more casually, but also that would work under um, underneath things as well. Now I can say straight off the bat that I feel like the fabric is very thin. So what I'm comparing it to is this one that I have in my wardrobe that I've had for a while from Ann Taylor. This is actually very fitted. So this is their perfect fit tee or perfect fit um, button up, I believe. But I love this one because it's very fitted. I just wanted something that had more of a boxy fit, but the fabric on this is just not it's not what I expected. The fabric on this one feels a lot nicer. So I think, unfortunately, even though I love the fit of this, I think I'm gonna send this one back just because I want the piece to last me for a while. And I just feel like the fabric is a little too flimsy. Let me try it tucked in to these pants and see what I think, but I, I don't know. I just feel like it's a little bit too see-through. The fabric's a little too thin. And I don't mind a thin fabric because living in Florida, I want it to be breathable. But I just feel like for the price, I can't remember how much this one was, but I feel like for the price, it should be a little nicer. I do like the way that it fits though. And these pants, oh my gosh, these pants I love. And I really wanted these in the denim and they didn't have them. They were on pre-order for the end of March. So I got the white denim, but I'm gonna have to take you into the mirror to show you these a little bit more up close. But I love where they hit on me. They're a very high rise um, flare leg, like wide cut pant, which I think looks very nice. But number one, they're a little too long. So if I put them on with my flats, they're just above the floor when I'm wearing them with my flats. And for me, that's a little too close. I feel like they're gonna drag a bit outside. Sometimes I do keep pants that I only wear with heels because I love wearing heels. I know that that's not very popular, but I'm a heels girl. I love wearing heels. So I do like to keep pants sometimes that I just wear with heels only. But for these, I would really like for them to be versatile when I can wear them with flats and work with heels. So I probably would have to get these altered a bit because this is the petite length. 
but I really love the fit of these. I really want to try the denim because I think I'm going to have to return the white because it's just a little too see-through. But the shape is fantastic. I feel like it's very updated. I feel like this is something you can dress up or down. I really love these. I ordered a new belt and I'm hoping I wanted a silver buckle for a black belt. I'm hoping that's what this is. I'm just gonna go with this, but I thought that this was silver. What I wanted was a silver buckle because my idea is to try, and I have a lot of gold in my wardrobe, and for some reason I really wanna try wearing more silver. I don't know why I'm feeling that way right now. Um, and so I bought some silver, just costume jewelry from J. Crew that I'll show you. Oh, I missed, missed a belt loop here. Okay, I really love this belt. Pretend that the buckle is silver because what I wanna do is try to wear more silver. So what my intention was, was getting a belt with a silver buckle. I guess I did not do that because I kept going back and forth when I was online shopping. Um, so I guess I just forgot to change this one. But let's put this on with this blazer. So this is a two petite is the size that I got in this. They had a lot of colorways in this, but I just love this very beautiful blue. I don't really know how you would describe. It's like a almost, gosh, it's not even, I wouldn't even say an eggshell blue. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love this blazer. So pretty. Okay, this is definitely what I was going for, but I really love it. I like where it hits. The length is nice. I love, love, love the color. Like I said, I love this color so much. I like this detail on the inside too, this pink trim here. Oh, that is so pretty. I actually wanna see what it looks like if I were to do it. So if I were to drape it over my shoulders, I'm having to use the viewfinder in the camera, sorry, because I can't see my mirror from over here. Oh yeah. I really like this a lot. I think that this is a great color. I have a lot of this kind of color in my wardrobe and I feel like it's very Florida appropriate, but oh my gosh, love this. Here's some of the accessories that I got. I'll open them really quickly. So like I said, I was trying to go for some silver because I need a little more silver in my wardrobe. What is this? Oh yeah, I got this cuff bracelet which I thought would look nice with the blazer sleeves kind of rolled up. Let me unbutton this so you can see. It's just a hinge cuff bracelet. Really chunky. That is very pretty. Oh, I love that. That's exactly what I wanted. So I wanted just a couple that I could stack. Maybe one a little thinner, one a little thicker, or both two cuffs like this. And then, what is this? I got these earrings. Those are really pretty. I really like those. So they have these in silver and in gold. I kind of feel like I have something similar in silver, but I don't know. I, th I think I'll keep these. I'm not sure yet, so I'm not going to try them on just for sanitary reasons. This was a last minute purchase, and I thought it would be fun because... So I knew with me getting my hair done, I feel like maybe style like this it wouldn't work, but I thought I would try a headband. Just, this is just a black croc embossed headband. Let's see. Do we think that it makes me look too young or is it chic? Hmm. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> I can't really decide. Sometimes I feel like when I wear headbands, I look like I'm about to go to school, like a prep school or something like that. And then other times I think it looks cute. So I don't know, what do you think? I don't know if I would wear it. I think I was just excited about getting my hair cut that I thought this would be fun to play with. And at the end of the day, I don't think that I'm gonna wear it. I think it's just gonna sit in my closet. So I think I might return this. Okay, so these are the Sydney pants and I really love the silhouette of these. I already had some of these in my wardrobe, but I wanted to get this color because I feel like it's very appropriate for spring and it's something that I wear all the time because you can dress these up or down. I love these pants, they fit really well. And if you're petite, they just have a really nice fit even on me um, being five feet. I love where they hit on the ankle. I just think that it's just a very nice flattering silhouette. So I'm gonna put them on with this saddle colored belt. I've had this belt. This is also from J. Crew. 
it's just a little thinner than the black one that I had on. Yeah, I love these. I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of use out of these. Now this, I am so excited to show you. Look at how pretty this is. Okay, let me put it on. The fabric on this is so heavy and nice. The knit is very, very well made. Wow, I wasn't expecting it to be this nice and heavy, honestly, and the buttons are super heavy and nice. This is gorgeous. So you can wear this over a dress, you can wear it on its own. I think this color goes really nicely with the color of these pants as well. I forgot to check and see what size this is that I got, um, but I'll have everything, all the sizing and information listed in the description box. But wow, I love, I love the crop fit of this and kind of how it hits right on the waist. I just think that this is very flattering. The sleeves are a little bit long, but I kind of like that because I tend to get cold. My hands tend to get really cold, so I like to kind of hold on to a sweater if I'm wearing a sweater. And I typically bring a sweater with me everywhere we go, even living here in Orlando, because it's always freezing cold inside. I think I've talked about that before, but I get so cold. And this is such a great cardigan for spring. I love the color, I love the shape. The knit is just so nice and thick and well made. This is one of the better qualities that I've gotten from J. Crew in a while, I have to say. So I wanted to see what this blazer looks like with these pants. Oh yeah, I really like the way these two look together. Should I go up a size in the blazer or should I just keep the two? Because it does have a lot of room here and I don't want it to get too oversized and just look kind of frumpy. So maybe I'll stick with this. Okay, so I pulled out this older style it's from J. Crew. I'm pretty sure you can still find it. It's one of their classics. And the quality of this fabric is so much nicer than the white blouse. Oh, I don't have it in here anymore. I put it in the other room um, just so that I can return it. But the quality of this is much nicer. The fabric is a lot thicker, but I just wanted to get an idea of how something like this would look with these pants. And I really like this a lot. Yep, I'm definitely keeping these pants. I love the way they look. I feel like I can get, I can wear these a lot of different ways. The last two items that I got are just basic tees. So this is the vintage jersey white tee. I always need a new white tee. Mine always need refreshing because Florida. I just wanted to get an oversized white tee. This is something that I can just throw on, wear with anything. Huh. Wow, this is very see-through, isn't it? I was not expecting this to be so see-through. I typically get the Everlane box. It's called, I can't remember what it's called. I'll put it right here on the screen so you can see. But I typically get that because it's a really nice fit. But I thought since I was already ordering things from J. Crew, I would just try one of these. But wow, if I'm seeing it correctly, this in the viewfinder here, which is hard to see a little bit, it looks pretty see-through. So I like that it's more oversized because that's what I was going for and that's how I like to wear my basic white tees like this. But I feel like, I don't know, this might go back. It just doesn't feel nice. I think I could probably just stick with the one that I normally get from Everlane. And you know what? I think that they were around the same price. In fact, this one may have even been more. So this is definitely gonna go back. All right, last thing is this shell. And I was thinking this would be nice to wear with these pants with the blazer over but this is a small. I don't really know why I got a size small. I like the fabric, it's nice. I like that it has these buttons here on the back, um, but I don't know, I just feel like it's a little bit too big. I think this is gonna go back. This isn't exactly the color that I thought it was gonna be. Okay, I got these shoes and I am so excited. I've been eyeing these for a while and I never wanted to get them because I don't know. I just kept going back and forth and back and forth and I finally got them this time. Look, aren't they so pretty? So I thought that these would be great because you can wear them with black or with brown. I love the two-tone. I have on my wish list of things that I would like to invest in someday, the Chanel Ballet flats like these, but for now, these will do. I think they might be a little too big. I ordered a size seven thinking that I didn't want them to be too tight because there's nothing worse than a tight ballet flat. But you know what? I think I need a six and a half because my heel kind of slides out a little bit. 
I think for the most part, that was a successful haul. I definitely still have a long way to go in filling some holes in my wardrobe, and I am gonna take you into the closet and just start to go through everything and um, get your opinion on some things, but right now, I just wanna try to add before I start taking away everything so that I have some things to wear, <laughs> but I do need to do a major, major closet refresh. This was just part one. Um, I'm looking around trying to see if there's anything else that I'm forgetting. I have a mess to clean up here. I feel like I found some good pieces. If you hear that noise, that's Mickey playing with his little puzzle ball that uh, disperses food. And I don't have the heart to tell him to stop because it's so cute. And uh, even with everything that happened to him, he still loves playing with this and with the other puzzle that I've shown in a video before him doing. He just, he's still the same. He's still the same. It's as if he doesn't even know that anything happened to him traumatic like that. Um, he's still his little happy-go-lucky, sometimes very feisty self. He's looking up at me like, hey, you're talking about me, aren't you? He's, now he's hitting it into the tripod. So sorry about that. Oh my goodness, I see you. Okay, I'm done. I'm done here. Okay, I guess I'm gonna end the video here. I also wanted to say thank you so much for all of your comments on my last video. Matt and I both have been going through them and are just, we just appreciate you so much and we can't believe how many of you have gone through similar situations or we know of somebody who has. Um, we're definitely, definitely taking legal action. Uh, we already started the process, in fact, today. Matt started that. So hopefully we can, the, the legal system here in Florida isn't great when it involves pets. They see pets as, I can't remember exactly how it was, but they see pets more as um, like a, an, something that you own or I don't really know how it works and everything that we've lo looked into uh, before today they said it's mostly they can mostly protect against like a dog bite or something in that nature so we're trying really hard to figure out how to go about doing this um, within the state laws here so that's been a bit challenging yay Florida but um but yeah so uh but thank you all so much for your kindness and just for your support and thank you for being patient with me and I just deep have so much deep gratitude for you all so thank you um and if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up because it helps for YouTube to pick up my videos in the algorithm which helps my channel um but yeah I love you guys and I will see you very soon bye